Uh, salvation, I'll give you a really quick theology lesson. There's three ways of being saved in the New Testament. Uh, salvation has past, present, and future tenses. To give you the technical terms for the you theology buffs, um, there is justification, sanctification, and glorification. Glorification is in the future, uh, sanctification is in the present, justification is in the past. The past act justified, uh, when you become a Christian, when you put your faith in Jesus Christ, something amazing happens to you. In a moment, immediately, legally, you are justified, meaning it is just as if you'd never sin. Just as if I'd never sin and never will sin again. I'm righteous. Am I unrighteous? Yeah, I'm unrighteous, so then why am I righteous? I'm righteous not because I'm righteous, but because Jesus was righteous for me and he clothed me with his righteousness so that when I stand before God, I'm seen as holy, justified. Um, that's past. But there is a future time in which you'll be glorified, and glory is literally, glorification is literally glorious. Um, you are forever free from the consequences of sin and the slavery of sin. Uh, you no longer live in a world in which sin exists. Uh, no more sin, no more death, no more tears. Everything sad comes untrue. Everything old becomes new. It is a glorious thing, uh, but that's in the future. And in between those two things, justification and glorification, is this present reality called sanctification. And sanctification is a process. Sanctification is the act whereby God continually makes us more and more like himself. And God's work of sanctification looks different for different people. And if you get the order messed up, if you think that somehow your justification, if you think your identity in Christ is based on your activity in Christ, then your Christian life will be miserable. No power, no joy. Because you'll begin to think, well, you know, I didn't cuss today, and, uh, and I didn't yell at anyone, and I wasn't a jerk to my wife, therefore, I could probably pray. <laughs> God's probably not mad, so God, you know, I did, I'm, I'm the man, I'm all that. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. And you just pray to God because you're just so happy. But then when you, you know, drop the few cuss words here and there, you maybe yelled at your wife, you had some thoughts that, you know, you just not ought to have. You go down to your bed at night, it's time for you to pray with your spouse, and you feel like a total failure. And you don't even want to pray. And you know why you don't want to pray? Because you got it backwards. Because you somehow think that your activity has something to do with your identity. And that is not the case. Your identity is that you're justified, you're holy, you're clear, you're pure, and your activity flows out of that identity. And that's how you're gonna have joy and peace and power in the Christian life. So if you're here today and you're a new Christian, just because your activity isn't just right doesn't mean your identity isn't just right. You are righteous in Christ before you're righteous like Christ. And you will become righteous like Christ, but you gotta hang in there, walk by the Spirit, uh, but don't give up on yourself. So that's the soft truth.